of the Give a Chance Foundation and we are trying to solve the problem of refugees in South Sudan. <coughs> and this is our logo <coughs> and we are called Give a Chance and it's just it's a picture of like everyone coming together and it's a picture of a refugee camp and everyone's happy and there's no fighting. Our slogan is saving lives on the run, which means we save lives. And refugees are usually on the run, moving from place to place. So that's why we said saving lives on the run. Our mission objective is to give, is to save all the refugees so they have a better life and they can have a chance of being successful. And this is just a little video. It's not a propaganda, but it's just a little video about like refugees that we have. So, this is just the definition of refugees. Refugees are people that escape a country because something's bad happening in their country. For this reason, in South Sudan, the Sudanese people are like attacking South Sudan. So people aren't safe in South Sudan, so they just leave and go to refugee camps in other countries. Uh, go to our essays. This is my essay about how the government affects the refugees. One of the main things that um, keeps the refugees from being safe and having to flee is because the government keeps attacking them and sending bombs and stuff like that, just trying to kill them off. And so they have to flee going to refugee camps. My second argument is that whenever they force all the um, refugees to live in the same camp, different ethnic groups clash and then violent outbreaks occur, so then when they are safe from the government, they start to kill each other because they disagree on stuff. And our third argument for the refugees is that they don't, this is kind of more of economy, but the, if the government had never, well, if the government had stopped attacking them, then they wouldn't have to worry about water and food sources, but since the government kept attacking them, they had to, um, they can't grow crops anymore from the bombs. So they have to have enough money to go and be able to buy water and food. And my, and my conclusion is that the government causes the refugees problem a lot because they don't give them any chance of just having a safe life in their city. Um, my thesis is that South Sudan is a relatively new country that has been facing the problem of refugees fleeing the country ever since its existence. My first argument is that it's very, like, the infrastructure um, is very unevolved and it does, um, it has one of the weakest economies. And, um, my second argument is that where the government mainly focuses their money towards they don't really focus on the people or anything about their country. They just like really want to build a bigger and bigger army. And um, also, they um, or my third argument is a civil war. They're kind of going through a little war. It's like the government versus the rebels and refugees. And it's just also because the refugees and the um, all of them they they left the country of Sudan because. Um, it was like, or they just, um, they were in many wars, <coughs> but they, um, just explained that when, um, that South Sudan is now just turning into another Sudan. And my conclusion is that, um, um, they will continue to have to, or, um, have refugees if they cannot improve the economy and the government and rebels and refugees work together. And go to... Mm -hmm. 
Well, I say that geography is a relating factor that causes refugees in South Sudan. Because South Sudan has a very good geography, which makes Sudan, which split into two countries, like, uh, I guess, like, three years ago, which was very less. So they just want to come back together. They really regret that they lost, like, 80% of their oil. And then they lost lots of water, and they're on their desert area. So they basically lost everything that they had when they split. So what they want to do is they want to come back together into one country. That's why they're bombing South Sudan and trying to get back together. So that's really why I think that there are refugees fleeing to other countries. Pause for a second, please.